hello welcome back to another video today i'm doing something a little bit more different to my usual vlogs so i thought i'd go a little bit more informative a little bit more useful a lot of my videos are vlogs but i'm not always doing something that interesting like today i'm not planning on leaving the house uh, i just got some chores to catch up on and that doesn't really make for an entire interesting video so today i thought i would share some just some tips that enhance my life make me a bit more productive um make me feel good that kind of thing so hopefully others find it helpful or interesting or whatever so i'm gonna jump straight in so the first tip is a really obvious silly tip is just drink more water a little bit hypocritical um while i'm at work i literally don't even really have fucking time to drink water um but it is super important to stay hydrated and something that does generally help me is just to have a hot, like a water bottle that has a straw on it and i know that sounds so silly but i just don't really like drinking like that i don't know why um so i've got a really good insulating water bottle actually let me grab it oh this one i absolutely love this water bottle this was literally only like 10 pounds from amazon as well it's not like the biggest but it holds plenty of water it does actually genuinely keep it cold for hours like sometimes i'm a bit grubby and i'll fill it up for one night and then like i'll go to work the next day and then the next night i'll be like oh, i can't remember to get back downstairs and fill up my water bottle um so i'll just like drink the leftover water from the night before <laughs> but it is still cold like 24 hours later um so i would really recommend just getting one of these like insulating type straw water bottles it also has like a little lid which is good for me as well because if i do have a straw bottle that has the straw exposed then my cats will chew on it i just love this water bottle i take it with me everywhere apart from work because if i take it to work i'll just forget it and leave it there and i can't go to bed without this so so yeah just drink more water it's just healthy your skin benefits from being hydrated it's also good for energy as well if you're active then instead of drinking caffeine drink water like i read somewhere that it actually benefits you more to not drink caffeine in your first like hour of waking up otherwise you'll like crash and you'll just generally have less energy throughout the day so try drinking some water when you wake up instead it's refreshing it's delicious and it is healthy next again something really simple is getting enough sleep so i'm guilty of not really getting enough sleep even though i love going to bed but obviously everybody needs sleep it's when you grow it's when you heal and if i don't get enough sleep i don't know about anybody else but i feel shit i I'm just angry. I'm angry if I don't get enough sleep. So something that I do to kind of help promote enough sleep, which is between seven to eight hours, which is a lot of time, but that is the recommended amount of sleep. I have like a cute cozy bedtime. So I try not to watch TikToks in the last like 15 minutes before I go to sleep. I do fall asleep watching YouTube videos, but I kind of don't consider that to be part of my bedtime routine, if that makes sense. It's just like, it's like having white noise like i can't sleep without kind of watching something basically but before i settle down with my bedtime youtube video i will try and do something like mindful so i've been getting back into my skincare a lot recently which i know is probably quite like an obvious task is like do your skincare before bed but i went through a phase of just like not doing my skincare ever so yeah i do my skincare before i go to bed that keeps my skin feeling really nice and it's just like a relaxing little activity and my skincare also does have like lavender in it which is supposed to be good for promoting sleep it's supposed to make you sleepy sometimes if i'm feeling extra bougie at bedtime i will have a little sleepy tea um i just get mine from Lidl but you can get yours from anywhere you like um i'll get into bed with my sleepy tea occasionally me and my partner will just sit in bed and chat before we go to sleep or if i'm going to bed before him if i'm on like an early the next morning then i will try and read i just kind of 
read the secret on repeat at the moment but if anyone has anything different to recommend then that would be good i do have audible but if it's like a bedtime activity i'd prefer to like have a physical book because it just feels like more relaxing and like more engaging and also having a like an essential oil diffuser is really good for kind of winding down at bedtime as well i can't really have one like on too often because apparently essential oils aren't very good for cats particularly lavender so i do have a diffuser but i use it in very like small periods i limit it a lot because i don't know how harmful it is to cats but i just read somewhere that it's not good for them so i don't really use it that much but if you don't have cats and you can use a diffuser all you like then i would have one next to my bed and i would just put it on before i go to bed but the cats don't allow that. So number three is exercise, moving your body. So this is something I struggle with as a lazy girl. I do have a gym membership. I don't use it as often as I should. The gym I go to does really good classes as well, which I did used to do regularly. And I mean, I did a spin class the other day. They are so good. They are literally just like so good. If I went to the gym and hopped on, a bicycle or whatever you call them like a static bike on my own there is no way i would be there for 45 minutes but if i do a class and there's someone at the front of the room screaming at everybody to move then i will be moving for 45 minutes <laughs> but yeah so move your body even if it's just something as small as like just a little stretch in the morning like you can go on youtube you can find any kind of stretch routine this is something I did get into the habit of last year and I did do regularly and it's something I'm trying to get back into now it's just like do like a 10 minute yoga session in the morning like it's just so refreshing it makes you feel good because a you're moving your body and b you're also doing something that you like set the intention to do so it's like an accomplishment as well physical activity is good because it boosts your mood your energy it keeps you healthy and apparently it's a good stress reliever so apparently i need to do more exercise but yeah just like a small little 10 minute yoga routine in the morning can really just like enhance your day because it sets you it sets you up for a good day so exercise exercise is my third habit so fourth kind of goes like hand in hand with exercise but is also like having a balanced diet more specifically breakfast so this is kind of something that I struggle with as well, to be honest, because I just go for convenience in the morning. Like I'm still waking up, so I'm a little bit lazy. So a lot of the time I do just grab like one of my frozen bacon baps, defrost it and put it in the air fryer. But on a good day, so on a day where I want to be my best self, I want to feel good for the rest of the day, it's good to have something balanced. So my go-to would be avocado with a poached egg and some like nice fancy bread. So, you know, like tiger bread that you can get from like little or like that kind of thing. And some white pepper. I absolutely love white pepper. I'll put it on anything. Yeah, it's crummy. It's got avocado, which is great. It's green, so it's got to be good. And then poached egg is protein. I think egg is protein. Um, yeah, so delicious. And you can do poached eggs in the air fryer as well. But last time I did, so I used to put it in like a little dish in the air fryer with like a little tablespoon of water in it. And it like cracked my glass dish in the air fryer. So I haven't done that since. Um, so if anyone knows any poached egg hacks, then let me know because I hate standing over the hob and like hoping that it's like poached okay but if you're not as fussy as me um something as simple could be just literally just like a smoothie or like a yogurt even just yogurt but i don't like the texture of yogurts so i don't eat them and also treating yourself to a nice healthy breakfast would also make you feel good as well a it's not fussy it doesn't have the kind of energy that kind of burns really quickly and then you crash for the rest of the day like if it's something healthy like avocado it will 
release its like energy slowly throughout the day if that makes sense i'm not that is not the scientific term for whatever i'm trying to explain but i'm sure you still know what i mean and if you've taken the time to prepare yourself a nice breakfast that also feels good as well so although i don't do this every day and it is like a rare treat for me having a balanced breakfast and diet in general is an important healthy habit to have i think okay number five now this is something i actually do do on a regular basis which is practice gratitude or just like journaling in general so i've got a journal that has prompts in it so it will ask you to set an intention for the day it'll ask you how you slept the night before what activities you've got planned for the day ahead then it's got like a self-care box so what you're gonna do which comes under the self-care category or if you're filling this out in the evening what you have done for self-care and then it does kind of have like an evening section anyway because it's got what meals you ate in the day um how much water you drank then it asks what went well today which is good for being positive obviously because you have to think about what in your day went well and then it's got a little section where you can write down just thoughts and feels and then at the bottom it says today i am thankful for and then you write what you're thankful for that day and i think things like that are super important for mental health or if you're into manifestation that kind of thing practicing gratitude just journaling in general um like writing down your thoughts and your feelings are really important i started i started work in january 2022 so almost three years ago and when i read back on the notes from like the beginning of this journal i was a very anxious girly and now i'm less so i don't feel like i have as many negative thoughts or feelings or worries um and i do think that is down to just like getting it all out on paper and just being more mindful practicing gratitude more often um, it's a great thing to do so that is something i do regularly and that is something that i would definitely recommend people just work into their morning routine evening routine whenever you get a spare five minutes i do also have a journal on my ipad in case i don't feel like sitting at a desk and doing it like i can do that from bed if i really want to but yeah it's a good healthy habit to have and it does put you in a more positive like space of mind as well six is limiting screen time so I'm awful for this. I will sit on TikTok for hours and procrastinate and I hate it. It stops me from being so productive. Like I will plan on having such a productive day and then I'll be like, okay, I'll just take a five minute break. And then half an hour later, I'm just doom scrolling. Like literally I will watch anything on TikTok. It doesn't even have to be entertaining. Like I will just sit there and watch it and it's so bad. So limiting screen time is super important if you want to stay productive or stop yourself from procrastinating. You can actually, if you've got an iPhone, I don't really know about Samsung, I'm sure they probably do this as well. Um, but you can actually set it up to limit your screen time. So if you're, if you only want to be on TikTok, say five minutes a day, you can set it up to like send you a notification when you've been on it for that long or i don't know what it actually does i haven't tried it out yet um so that's something i'll do later but yeah you can set it up to limit your screen time but for me that is something i'm gonna have to put in place because i will sit on tiktok forever forever and just scroll and scroll and scroll and not only is it bad for like productivity but it's also bad for my bank account because i'll see something on tiktok and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Maybe I should buy it. And then I just actually buy it. And I didn't need it. I didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Or I'll see someone post like cute pajamas that, that are in Primark at the moment. Like there's a set I really want. Um, and I wouldn't even know they existed if I didn't go on TikTok. And now all I can think about is this pajama set that I want. Yeah, less TikTok, less screen time. Obviously it's a bit difficult if it's part of your job. So obviously if you're a content creator or like a social media manager or something like that, then you are going to have to be on your phone a lot. But when I say limit screen time, I mean like limit like passive screen time where you're just like not doing anything. You're just like there because you don't know how else to fill your time. Is That's what I do sometimes. Um, but yeah, limit screen time. Try out the 
settings in your phone to limit screen time i'm sure that's super helpful and that is something i'll be doing later number seven is meal prepping so this can be like snacks or full meals but the reason i say meal prepping is just a good healthy habit is because it stops you from kind of like impossibly like ordering a takeaway or just like snacking on junk but yeah i for me if i know i've got a meal that i've made in the fridge i i won't want that to go to waste because i've made it um and it's a waste if i just choose not to eat it so number eight is take breaks to stretch or breathe so if you work like a desk job you're kind of sat down like stationary all day then it's good to just like take a minute to like have a little stretch like if you're sat in the same position all day then it is gonna affect you eventually like i used to work a desk job and i was literally like so unfit like i couldn't walk for more than like two minutes without getting out of breath because all i would do all day is just like sit down and that's it so what i would sometimes do is just, like set a, rem a reminder to just like get up have a stretch like have a little walk around or if you've got an apple watch then sometimes it does notify you to like have a little five minute breathing session um just to like get some air some oxygen to your lungs that kind of thing this is a good habit to have just because it helps reduce tension gives you a little bit of a mental reset just like even a few deep breaths can have a good positive effect on your mental health but yeah just like a quick little habit if you're sat down for a lot of your day just taking a couple minutes here and there to stretch or breathe can have a incredibly positive effect okay number nine is keeping your space organized and like clutter free so this is one of my favorites actually because in my office so this is my office i specifically only have items in here that kind of bring me joy so <laughs> i've got a lot of jelly cats in here a lot of like bits and bobs that i like to look at but it's not cluttered so i don't have a huge amount of bits so i don't have a lot of things on my workspace there's not a huge amount of stuff on my desk or even on like my makeup desk area i feel like the more disorganized and cluttered an area is the more stressed i feel so a lot of the time like if i have like extra bits i'll just like pop them in a drawer or in a cupboard or not like in a messy way but like an organized way still but i like to keep my like sight line very organized and clutter free and then like once a space is tidy it's so much easier to keep on top of it and if you've got a clutter free home all the time then it gives you like mental clarity to like get on with the things that you want or need to be doing like like hobbies or or anything like that so that's why i think decluttering your space is an important one and then lastly super simple super obvious trying to incorporate more fruit and vegetables into your diet so i know it's a bit of a boring one but i'm not going to spend much time talking about this all i'm going to say is i get frozen vegetables and if I'm making a meal, I'll just toss some frozen vegetables in. The thing that puts me off about having vegetables as part of like a meal is the fact that I would have to prep them. So you have to buy them fresh and then you have to use them like the same day or else they'll go bad. And then you've got to wash them and then you've got to cut them up and then you've got to normally like cook them separately because like they'll have a different cooking time or they'll need steaming or whatever. So what I do to make this more convenient you can buy it fresh and then prep them and then freeze them but i just buy them frozen and i think that's it's still vegetables they're just frozen so i buy frozen i get like peppers or like tender stem broccoli that kind of thing and then it's in the freezer until i need it so it's not going to go bad and i don't need to cut it up because it's already prepped so incorporate more vegetables and make it convenient by buying frozen ones and that is that's what I'm gonna say. Yep, that is everything for my like healthy habit suggestions. I know it's different to what I would normally film, but like I said, I'm not always doing something like mega interesting or things that would be like an entire like videos worth of vlogs. So I just thought I would put together a video of a couple of like healthy habits that are good to have, things that I do or things that I should do um and this type of content isn't like season specific either so i can post this today and people could search for it and still still just as easily watch it in a couple of months time 
So it's good to have content that isn't like just season specific as well. Although obviously after this video, I will be posting more awesome stuff because I'm going pumpkin picking soon. I've got Christmas shopping to start doing, but yeah, just like a little interim video that's good for all year round. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.